Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, I let you guys know that the Microsoft PC Manager app is finally available from the store and is out of public beta. And this new app, just a quick recap, because I'll leave that video down below, is similar to CClean and other PC optimization apps. I think the only real big difference um, is between PC Manager and the CCleaner app is that PC Manager doesn't have a registry cleaner. And um, as mentioned, that the app is now more widely available and can be downloaded for Windows 10 and 11 from the Microsoft Store. Now, just a quick heads up and a quick video just to let you know that um, there is a setting when it comes to the deep clean options to optimize and clean out your computer that I personally don't think you should enable in this app. And it's called the Windows Prefetch folder. Now, to get to the setting, if you are using PC Manager, we head to Storage and you click on deep clean you just click on scan and obviously depending on the size of your drive and the amount of um, data and so on you've got and files this could take a couple of seconds depending on your device and this is where we will find the setting for windows prefetch there we go windows prefetch it's found 25.3 megabytes it says that you can actually clean out and deep clean out to so-called optimize and save storage space on your computer and if we click on details um, he has all the different files that it will clean out of prefetch. And if we just hover over this, it gives us more information. And it says, I'll read this because that's very hard to see in the video. It says, files in the prefetch folder are files read ahead by the system to speed up the system startup process. Windows XP automatically tracks every program they mention in Windows XP. That's very strange, but... Um, it's across the board with the prefetch folder. Windows XP automatic, automatically tracks every program launched at startup and uses this information to accelerate the next startup process. These files do not need to be kept. Now, that's funny because um, Microsoft themselves do not recommend fiddling with the, the Windows prefetch folder because as um, mentioned, that if you delete these files, it could have the opposite effect that the app is actually trying to achieve because it actually needs these prefetch files to open those files. And these prefetch files are files that you use on a regular basis. So what it does is it prefetches them, which means it can access those regular files or those that data and those files a lot quicker. And if you delete your Windows prefetch folder, as in all of these files that are located in the prefetch folder, it then could slow down and obviously take a lot longer to open up these said files and these said data. Now, with that all out of the way, um, what I do suggest if you want to clean the Windows prefetch folder, as in you want to free up a bit of uh, space on your hard drive, is if you have to toggle the setting on Windows prefetch, I would suggest maybe do this once or twice a year, maybe once every quarter, um, because this doesn't get that large. And you can see it's 25.3 megabytes in my case, and I've been using this system now for at least two years without ever cleaning out the prefetch folder but the only thing that I would suggest is if this prefetch folder is really large maybe it's a gig or two in size then I would clean it out to give you some storage space saving and then obviously over time it'll start prefetching the files that you are visiting so so to speak on a regular basis but just heads up if you want to do uh, use the PC manager to optimize and clean out your Windows 10 and Windows 11 device then I would suggest maybe not toggling the setting on and Un uncheck that and then obviously you, you can run the rest and just fiddle around to your own personal choice and preference but just wanted to put it out there because obviously um this can be a handy app it does collate all the different existing optimizing tools and cleaning tools um, from windows 10 and windows 11 into one handy app but uh, just bringing that to your attention because i think enabling that setting on a regular basis could actually have the opposite effect using the PC Manager app. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.